Hey guys, well, it's time to get to work. What are we working on? Well, you guys know because you've seen the title of the video. My goodness. So what have we got? We got a rag. We've got our tools out. We've got a few other things that we're fixing to work on crusty. We're going to pull the transmission out. We're going to take it apart. Or we're going to look inside of it, see what's broken. Scavenge a few pieces out of it. And we're probably going, not probably, we're going to put that T5Z that we bought in crusty along with a few other modifications that we're going to make and we'll get to those after we've went in the transmission to look around so this will probably be a two or three part little series here as we do a few mods to crusty to try and make it a little faster of course and um see where we end up so let me get to work see you guys in a few minutes first thing we've got to do is get a little air in the tire and put some front tires on it. And then we can roll it back, get it jacked up, get it on jack stands, and um, unbolt the headers, unbolt the drive shaft, drain the fluid, unbolt the shifter, unbolt the cross member, then unbolt the four bolts and pull it out. So I'm kind of excited to get working on it. So we've got a few of our project cars running and stuff. So might as well <clears throat> work on it while the momentum is there. Concrete blocks, the original jack stand. Well, actually probably a piece of wood, but oh well. Sorry. <laughs> it's hot. There we go, ready to roll. Damn, it's dirty in here and hot. Let me get the key. Oh, the key's in it. Ooh. And uh, let's move it out of, back up to the door. We can get it jacked up and get to work on it. My head's probably not in the frame. Yes, I could have got in it. I could have driven it. Put a battery in it. Could have drove it. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta get your workout in. And we're getting hours in. Plus, this thing actually rolls pretty easy. So, which is always a good thing. Sitting about as crooked as the Tennessee Creek, but um, it's down there. So let's uh, let's um, am I out of frame? <laughs> let's jack it up and let's get it. Hold on, watch this. Hang on, guys. Woo! We're flying. Remember, we used to do this in some of the early videos. Some of the OG guys may remember we used to fly every now and then. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Touchdown. All right, let's jack it up. All right, we got it up. Now we need to get the exhaust, exhaust off, drain the transmission, and uh, we'll pull the drive shaft out. Man, we're just hopping, man. We're hopping, hopping. Let's do it. Let's get this thing rolling. All right, we got our, we got our pipes off. Make sure I don't get those mixed up. Now we can uh, train the tranny. Pull the drive shaft, speedo cable, onwards and upwards. Z drive shaft is out. All right, well, I don't guess you guys really, really, really need to see me take the shifter and stuff off. That's just basic stuff. Here it is. Oh, it's glory. It's a little loose. So, all right. There it is. We got it out. Now we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll get it home and 
put it up on the bench and we'll tear into it and see what we got. See how bad it is. <clears throat> so this may have this may have turned itself into a parts transmission, but that's fine too. Always need parts. So alright, well, let's load it in the van. Let's get it home. I'm hungry, it's dinner. Not supposed to talk about food on the channel, sorry. But it's dinner time, so the heck with it. Guys just have to suffer. Ah. Alright guys. Well, we um have our transmission ah, here at the house. So I thought we would maybe go ahead and uh pop it open and See what we got. So, if you watch any of the T5 videos, this ain't no mystery. Make sure it's make sure it's in neutral, and make sure you run the pin all the way out. Because if you don't get it all the way out, you're going to have a real problem. So, all right. Well, let me start breaking some of these bolts loose and we'll be back in just a minute. We'll pull the whole tail shaft off, then we'll knock the top cover off and we'll see what we got. All right. <clears throat> we got our tail shaft. Your shop should not be as messy as my shop is. It's Disaster in here. Whew. Our TV's on there. Something a little bit more subtle. Dang. That RTV, man. That stuff ain't no joke. There we go. Okay. Again, like always, you don't want to lose the uh, spring, check ball, or the dowel. So, whoa, <laughs> wow, yeah. There's some pieces of metal in there. Yep. There's a piece of... So, let me break all the top cover bolts loose and we'll take the top cover off and see what we got. Okay. We got all the... All the bolts out. Cover broke loose. Come on, girl. So we got. Ah! Ha ha ha! Holy mackerel! Here we go, guys. People hate. Oh, haters gonna hate on the T5. And don't hate. Appreciate. All right, well, I mean, I don't even got to show you the inside of it, but I will. Here's what we got. Third gear shift fork, blew it out. There it is right there. Wow, but it still had enough to hook it into fourth. That's crazy. But, whoo, man, check out them brass pads. They have been getting, we've been working on this thing. But third gear shift fork's blowed up. 
So, um, let me take you guys off the stand. We'll get a up close, sorry about that. We'll get up close and personal here. Here is the insides. There's a piece of clutch fork right there. Um, everything, there's probably a bunch of it at the bottom of the case, but all the gears, there's a little, there's a little mark here. And that's probably, I would, I would say that's from chewing on the clutch fork. That's fantastic. That is just freaking great. Blew a third gear clutch fork apart. Transmission's fine. Mm, mm, mm. T5. But yeah, that clutch, and you can see right here, you can see the wear on that brass pad. That baby's been getting hammered. Woo, both of them. Man. Been getting a workout, but that third gear fork, it definitely got a workout. Got worked right out of a job. So, what do we do now? I guess, um, well, dang, that really kind of puts me in a, a little bit of a spot, a pickle, so to speak. What? What? Don't, uh, uh No, don't you come in here and do that and then just walk out like you own the place. Bastard. Um, well, here we, there we go. That's, uh, dang it. <laughs> ah, transmission's in good shape. I love it. It's great. Broke the shift fork. Well, hmm, so I have to decide what to do. All right, well, I guess I'll let you guys go, and, and I've got some things i got to figure out. And, uh, hmm. <laughs> so, all right, well, we'll be back. All right, guys, we have got um, our Z-Spec transmission up here. Before we start getting all crazy, um... We need, to t we need to open this up and, and take a look and make sure that that's what we have before we start getting all, you know, excited like, hey, we're going to put this in and blah, blah, blah. So we did order some keys, some billet keys today. And I've got to look around. There's somewhere. I've got a shift fork in a box couple I think I've got two of them maybe just one left anyway we uh we um want to open this up and take a look inside and see what we've got you know hopefully we got something good before we start getting all crazy about not using this one doing some other stuff so you know the routine. Let me knock the roll pin out, break the bolts loose, we'll pop the tail shaft off, we'll pop the cover off, and we'll uh, take a look inside and kind of see what we got. We'll probably pull the, we'll pull the input out and uh, we'll get an idea of what we got. So let me get to work on that. And we will see you in just a few minutes. I know these trans videos are the worst just a bunch of just a bunch of boring garbage so anyway I would like to say I promise they'll get better I can't make that promise <laughs> all right um, we've got our tail shaft and stuff out we got all our cover bolts off you guys saw this already. Let's uh, see what mysteries await us. Well, we gotta take the input off the front and everything anyway. So let's dig into it a little bit more. And now 
for the moment of truth. Yep. This is the spec. I mean, I can count the teeth to double check, but I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about here, guys. Take you off the stand for a minute for some of you guys that maybe not as familiar with the T5 as some of the other people. This is what they call it the Cobra pocket bearing. That bearing right there, this right here, this came on the Cobra T5s and it also came on the Z-Spec T5s or the Motorsport T5s. It also uses a special uh, input that's made for that bearing. Um, a popular, kind of a popular modification or not popular, but people have done it, is when you uh, burn the shaft, a regular shaft on a regular T5, which has the uh, 15 roller bearings on it. Um, hmm. When you burn that, people will machine the shaft down and press one of these bearings on and then buy a Fox version of this input and you can still get those and kind of make them save the main shaft. Is what it boils down to. So, I mean, honestly, I guess I can count the teeth on it, but and I will, but we'll uh, find out what we got here or I'll get the numbers off one of the gears. It will just know for a fact that what we have is a 295 Z-Spec T5, but pretty sure that's what we got. So, all right, well, let me start taking it apart a little bit, see what's what. What are you doing, man? What you doing out there? Why ain't you in here helping me work on this transmission? Huh? Hey. What? You don't care. Jack has zero cares. All right, we're, you probably saw this in other videos, but whatever. We're um, feeding out our dowel. Um, so. Again, you don't want to lose these. And then we can uh, get our snap ring pliers. And get that off. Don't want to lose that. And then, again, you want to try and take the whole assembly off but a lot of times, or not a lot of times, but sometimes, that just doesn't work. Get boost, there we go. We got lucky that time. We got the whole thing apart without it blowing up into a thousand pieces. So, that's good for us. And then, gear out. Set it all together like that. And I want to put this somewhere where hopefully it's not going to get bumped and blow itself into 100 pieces. So now, race out. Take our synchro's got a little wear on. So we're gonna roll with it. Now, we wanna be able to finagle, and I emphasize the word finagle, What's funny is, is it always seems to go back in easier than it comes out, which is very weird. There we go. And we have our main shaft out.
and we're also going to do our cluster support. So that's right, Chris from Kentucky, Kentucky Chris. We're going to put your cluster support on here and uh, get some use out of that bad boy. So everything looks everything looks pretty good. So a little bit of material in the bottom of the case, but no big deal. It'll break clean, get that situation fixed right up. So all in all, pretty good. Anyway, let me turn you guys off. This video is going to be a freaking hour long of me just staring at a transmission being stupid. So like I say, we're going to, uh, we're going to have to press this bearing off and then we'll be able to get our um, our uh, blah, dang it, our third gear and stuff off. Then we can put our billet keys in when they come in. I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Uh, I do not. I didn't think I did, but let's double check. Um, anyway, we'll put our keys in. Blah blah blah, and then we'll put our cluster support on. We'll be we'll be good to go. Wow. Got a little play in it. Can't have that. All right, let me shut you guys off. All right, guys, when someone describes something as being sketchy, this is typically what they mean. <laughs> but it worked. We got the, uh, we got the uh, bearing. Popped out. Seems to, does not seem to be any worse for wear. So now we can get the cluster up, uh, get the gear and stuff off and just wait on our billet keys to get here and do the cluster support. And we'll be ready to throw it back together, press the bearing back on. Be ready to get it together and bolt it in the car. Rock and roll, rock and roll, it's in my soul. And look at this shop. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Oh. Hey, it's your body. Oh, what do we got right here? Not much left. Oh my God. That was so good. There he is. Are you, got the, are you holding that piece of wood down in case I need it? Huh? Are you holding that wood down? What the hell, man? Yeah, oh, oh, kill. How about some rubs, Pop? Hands are a little dirty, bro. I'll give you a couple. All right. Let's go back inside and do some... Let's go back in and do some work. All right, we got our shaft back in the press, or in the vise, I should say. We got our trusty uh, C-clip pliers. And then I think... I don't think we're going to have to press this off. I think it'll actually come off. So let me get that popped off. Ah, remember, I said it probably will not need to be pressed, and voila, it does not. Just come right off. Boom goes the dynamite. Okay, so got this off. We're gonna have to put some brake clean through this thing. Um, and now we'll do our cluster, and we'll wait for our billet keys to come in and um see where we're at we may end this video here in just a second because it's getting kind of long and boring so anyway all right well oh, i counted the teeth in the cluster it is a 295z spec so lucky me finally got a good deal on a car park <laughs> for once at well <laughs> we ain't ran it yet so we can't call it a good deal but so far it's a good deal so anyway all right Let's, I got to get out of the way so I can get around you. My God. Well, guys, we're back out in the shop, but we're not going to start working on the transmission today. I've done a little editing on the video and realized that it's really long and really sucky like they all are. But, um, you know, we're just not capable of anything else. This, this is the best we can do, and I'm sorry, but this is just it. This is all we got. So, um... I want to go ahead and wrap this video up. Until next time, 
thanks for commenting. Always, thanks for. I, you would think after a hundred x number of videos that I would be better at this, and I still screw it up almost every time. So thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I have to do something stupid for that, but. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos, lover of four eyes and vans. We'll see you guys next time.